You're going to have to empty your pockets before you head to a Browns game this year. Good evening. I'm Lee Jordan. And I'm Danita Harris. The NFL is requiring everyone to pass a metal detector before going to a game. News Channel 5's Michael Baldwin is live at Cleveland Stadium with more. Michael, what's going on? Danita, the changes start with this Friday's game against the Eagles. You will have to go use a handheld metal detector. That's what the uh, Browns folks will be using. They say they're doing this to increase your safety while you're at the game. Before you head into the big game, you may have to slow your roll a bit. You can't get in until you are checked by one of these guys. And while your bag is being searched, you're going to move up through the queue here, and then we're going to search you with one of these handheld magnetometers. VP of Security Carl Mayer has been with the Browns since they came back to Cleveland. He says the process is rather simple. And as opposed to in the past, when we used to have to pat you down, this will go quicker. Not only go quicker, it's gender neutral. So we don't have to worry about separating out our fans from men and women. Everybody can come through the line, and it's going to be a much faster process for us. There seems to be no cause for concern. NFL stadium security has been evolving since 9-11. Procedures have been established with help from Homeland Security and other agencies. Okay, Janet, what we're going to have you do is we're going to have to take any metal that you might have, put it in your hands. You don't have to take your watch off, but just any metal you might have. You'll need to take everything out of your pockets, including things like keys and cell phones. Turn around. Arms out. And that's how quick the process is. A quick survey of fans around town shows they're okay with metal detectors at games. If it gets me to my seat in a quick manner, I'm all about it. I won't really feel comfortable with anyone putting their hands on me. I think the wand system will be a lot better. This is what we have to do nowadays. It's sad, but this is what we have to do, and I'm all for it. All right, folks, if you remember last year, you had two separate lines for men and women. With these handheld metal detectors, you don't need that anymore as well. Browns fans should be a little used to these handheld metal detectors because they used them last year, but it was only on the bottom part of your body, not the top. The top still had to be patted down. We're live in Cleveland. I'm Michael Baldwin, News Channel 5. So fans are going to have to be a little patient as they go to the games this year. You will, you will, Danita, but what we're hearing is that it should be a quick process. Carl Mary was saying that it shouldn't take too long uh, for folks to get in. All right. Thank you, Michael Baldwin, reporting live from Brown Stadium tonight. We all know to prepare for screening wands or pat downs at airports, but if you enter the queue for a Cavs home game or a concert, every gate there has metal detectors and wands. Entering the Cuyahoga County Justice Center or Cleveland City Hall requires metal detector screenings. If you see a show at the Agora or Peabody's in Cleveland, you will get a pat down. Now, in contrast, Progressive Field only takes a glance in your bag. The Cleveland Zoo, the Museum of Art, Playhouse Square, and Amtrak, they don't screen this.